Hi, I'm Rob, and this is Something That Interests Me. And today, we're going to look at mountain biking and virtual 10K runs. Virtual 10Ks are a good way to stay in shape during the off-season and get outside and enjoy some fresh air. I'm going to talk a little bit today about some of the pros and cons of the virtual 10Ks that I saw and uh, show you what I'm really thinking about while I'm out running. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe so you can see the new content when I upload it. And give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, then I'll know what I can keep on making. And with that, let's get on to it. It's a beautiful day. Gonna go for a virtual 10K run. It's about 15 degrees, a little bit chilly, but if I'm dressed right, it should be okay. I'm just starting the run. And I picked a route where I was dropped off at the end and I'm running back towards home. At this point, I'm enjoying the day, the cool air, and uh, looking at the scenery. This was the first of several uphills I'd have to do on my 10K as I worked my way home. And this contributes to the workout to help keep me in shape and get ready for mountain bike season. I've been running for a little bit, and now my mind is starting to wander and think of other things. Not your typical scenery while doing a 10K. Starting to warm up. I may have to take my hat off. The old internal furnace is starting to go. <laughs> so this is where I started thinking of mountain biking. And what was I thinking about? My very first mountain bike. This was a 1989 Giant Boulder ATX. It had uh, some okay components and got me started in the sport and I've thought of that bike several times since. I put quite a few miles on this bike and Kentucky at a place called Otter Creek Park. Uh, it was a great intro to the sport and I fell in love with it. I did find out that Otter Creek fell on some tough times and actually shut down uh, for quite a while but uh, there's an organization now in Kentucky that has started to put some love back into the park and has reopened it up. My next bike was a Raleigh MT600. This was a technium frame, which was a combination of aluminum and steel for the tubing. It was also the first bike that I owned with a front suspension shock. I bought this locally and got it from one of our local celebrities, Mr. Gary Sadowski. Worked at a shop called the Essex Cyclery. Enjoyed this bike for a few years, and then it was time to move on to something different. The next bike was a 2003 Jameis Dakota XC. This was a really nice steel frame bike with a good fork for the day. I enjoyed it and rode it for several years while I was raising my kids. Unfortunately, it didn't get ridden too much in the later years. But when I got back into riding, this was the bike I started on. It was still capable almost a decade later. Now I've moved on to a modern bike. This is a 2016 Kona Process 153. This has been a great bike for me. I've been riding this all over New England uh, and hope to ride it for another year or two to come. Luckily the sport just continues to entertain me. These are some of the things I think about when I'm running a virtual 10K. My mind is always wandering. I enjoy the scenery, I enjoy the exercise, and I'm getting ready for the upcoming mountain bike season. Here's some of the swag that I've gotten for doing the virtual 10Ks. I've gotten a couple of nice shirts, and then I did get a buff and a participant medallion with attached bottle opener uh, for doing the hops trot. 
I did get uh, two free beers from one of the local breweries, but I can't show you those because I've already drank them. Here's what I put together for pros and cons for doing virtual 10Ks. On the pro side, you get to pick when you run and where you run, and you do support charity. Uh, so overall, I think it's pretty good. On the con side, you miss that camaraderie of being in a group setting and seeing other people and actually having some level of competition. I hope this is something that interested you because it was something that interested me.